Hi guys, today we will talk about my problem with joysticks. No, in fact we will talk about uh, this pile of stuff which is the result of an eBay grab bag. So these things are controllers for Siemens medical X-ray equipment. Yes, and they are very, very expensive. Here you can see the eBay item with a price of 100 euros for the 17 controllers. They were sold for parts or for repair. On this photo, you have the typical application of the controllers mounted on the side of the X-ray table to control the table itself on the X-ray system. Here is a sample price for one of the controllers found on a medical pass broker website. Price for another model of the controllers. Again, one other model, still very expensive and the most expensive of all for ten thousand dollars. Here is the total uh, supposed value of the controllers I got, uh, yes. And if you wonder about the big uh, X-ray system arm itself, Yes, it is available on eBay, but sadly for now I cannot really afford it. Ok, so before we have a better look at them, the question, what will I do with them? Of course, there will be teardown of them in the next few videos. Maybe not at every model, it will depend of how much different they are one from another but at least a teardown of each uh, different kind I see uh, this kind, this kind, this kind this one and this one maybe and after this uh, I will keep in my collection the best ones I will maybe try to resell some uh, duplicate ones in order to refund a little bit my expense. If I can sell them uh, 20 euros or 30 euros each, it would be nice. And uh, maybe I will keep one or two for uh, tinkering with uh, the sticks if I need uh, to hack them or something like this. Okay, now I will put the overhead camera and we will have a better look at them. So first, this model of device, which is apparently a mouse controller to interact with the computer side of the X-ray system. We have a big uh, stick and what seems to be the three regular mouse buttons. Here is what it looks on the side and on these particular ones we have an attachment, an extra piece which is fitted here which is actually some kind of a quick release but I wonder why you should need a quick release while you are connected at the bottom with this little uh, cable which does uh, actually uh, Daisy chain together the controllers. Here we have a second uh, plug which is uh, covered by a plate. But on this one, uh, instead of a plug, we have some kind of a terminator device. You can see same attachment. The manufacturer stickers give a model number you can find on the parts broker website and the serial number and of course the do not put in the trash uh, logo when it costs five thousand dollars I believe you do not want to put it in the trash but still so about this ones I wonder so here obviously there is a blank plate which is not uh, used and I wonder how you could 
open this uh, handle piece because there is no gap, nothing, it is one single piece. So it must come in pass from the bottom, probably. We will uh, investigate this in the teardown in the next video. So this model, I have three of them. One is a little bit different and is $1,000 more expensive. Okay. Next kind, this is actually the controller for the uh, X-ray arm piece, which is called a C arm because of its C shape. On one side you have the X-ray gun and on the other side the sensor. Uh, so we have buttons for... Uh, I do not know at all, in fact, what they do. We have this handle with uh, function switches. And actually, according to the user manual I found, and I will link in the video description, uh, this is to control the movement of the arm. And for this reason, in fact, in fact this uh, hand piece here is a dead man button. So to enable the joystick, you have to push on it, and then it will uh, be uh, in the circuit. On the front, we have what seems to be an emergency stop button, which is actually very nice. And here you can see the bottom plate without the special attachment. And the two uh, con plugs to daisy chain the module together. So I believe they must talk over some kind of uh, data bus, maybe I square C or something like this. But I did not find any technical documentation about this thing, just the user manual. Uh, another pretty similar model here. You can see the plastic is uh, yellow on this one. But uh, same ID. The buttons are uh, missing the grid here over them. But same uh, logo on here. Okay. These ones are the controllers for the table, for the patient, the dude which is being x-rayed. So you can move the table up and down, you can tilt it, you can set it flat, horizontal maybe. Or maybe you have some alerts here if uh, you reach the end of uh, course or something like this. These ones have a little bit different uh, layout of the buttons. As you can see, backside is still the same, and you have still the emergency stop. This one is the same logo, same handle, but no buttons, oddly enough. So, I have quite a few of this kind. Here, one different one for the patient table. We don't have a joystick here, but what seems to be just a big push button like in uh, TV games. And you can see over the movements you can uh, control. So maybe it is to enable, and then you press the buttons. I am not sure. Back is still the same. So one thing, you can see this uh, aluminium piece here with this rail, in fact. I had one or two of these things in the grab bag and they actually links to uh, connect together the modules, like so. Then you put a set screw and it will uh, secure the modules together. So it is probably how they are uh, attached on the X-ray table. So this one is quite uh, weird, a little bit dirty also. Next, uh, this one, so these ones are interesting because obviously this one was repaired. They did uh, put some extra screws here to secure something inside. And it looks like this one has the problem. The joystick piece is actually loose in the case. So probably something did break and the something is not secured anymore to the 
cover part, I guess. So we will investigate it in the teardown and maybe I will try to repair this. I will see. Uh, but probably they had no other solutions here than uh, putting screws. So I guess it must be um, a weakness, a weak point in this uh, particular model. Still they are for the C arm. And still they have the top stop button. Model number for you. Uh, so far I do not know how old is this equipment. I did not find any uh, dead code. But hopefully we will find information inside. We end with the most expensive ones. So these ones are for controlling the X-ray uh, itself, it seems. Uh, they are called the collimator controls. So you can set, obviously, the aperture of the X-ray. You can set, probably, some kind of focus here. Or you can set, maybe, the um, blades which are blocking the X-ray to uh, restrict them to a certain area. Same here, so this one is very expensive. I believe this one is the $10,000 one because you have three joysticks. So three joysticks is obviously very expensive and they come with a push button also. This one is a little bit different and have a quick release uh, thing. For some reason. And last one is almost the same but not exactly. You can see we have a different button here. Okay, so check in the video description. There will be, uh, if I find it again on the web, link to the user manual of the device with uh, information about all of this. So more in the user manual. And there will be also a link to the parts broker where you can uh, check thousands of uh, pieces of uh, X-ray equipment, which is quite uh, interesting. I did see on their website one screw sold 11 euros, 11 dollars. It is uh, quite uh, mad. So I do not know if they are crazy expensive or what. Maybe these things are actually worth, not worth so much because uh, common Ten thousand dollars for one box with three little joysticks. It seems a little bit uh, over expensive, even if I do not doubt they are very nice quality and very well made, or probably with uh, medical rules and so on. But still, for such a little device with no. Uh, X-ray sensors or anything uh, terribly uh, complicated inside. It seems really, really, really expensive. Okay, so stay tuned for the next videos. Hopefully, uh, by the end of this week or during the next week, where I will start to do teardowns of them. Thanks for watching. For now, bye bye.